Hi friends, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome back to my channel. So Theo is on my table and I need to get him off because I have a new plan, a new game for us. So I'm going to just give some hints today. I have a plan for a new game that we're going to play, but it's going to take a while. So you might want to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell because I'm going to be dropping hints over several videos, I think probably at least six, and then it will all come together, I hope, <laughs> in one really fun plan. So today we are starting part one of this mystery um, uh, big game. We're, let's just call it Ellen's big game. So today we are going to do a new stitch pattern and we're going to do a multiple of six plus one. One, two, three. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> okay, I got to put up Theo down here. He's going to be a troublemaker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you buddy. Okay, okay, down you go. People like you, but not that much. Okay, come on. Okay, where was I? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And now the uh, yarn is damp from the cat chewing on it. And don't mind my nails because I thought you'd rather have a video than wait an extra day for me to do my nails. So I have 19 chains here. That's a multiple of six, three times, plus one more. So we're going to do a two single crochets in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. We're going to do two single crochets in the back ridge, back bump, back bar of that stitch. Then we're going to skip one chain and put two single crochets in the next. So I'm envisioning this grand plan, so we'll see how it goes, because you know that crochet is supposed to be a relaxing and valuable use of our time. <laughs> and I do hope that this series ends up being a valuable and relaxing use of your time. So we're skipping one chain and placing two single crochets in the next chain all the way across, okay? So it's two single crochets, skip one, two single crochets. So we're doing a multiple of six, plus one, and it is basically an even number plus one. And this is the first hint of Ellen's big game that we are going to play over the next several weeks. I only put one in there, so I need one more. But I hope it ends up being fun. You never know. I like the mystery of it all. I hope you do too. So this is the first uh, hint in the Ellen's Big Game. We'll go ahead and call it that. So here we go. And so we have two stitches left, two chains left. We're gonna skip one. And then in the last one, we will put, place two single crochets in the last chain. Now we are going to turn, chain two, skip the first single crochet, and in the next single crochet, place two. Okay, so now we are going ahead and doing the same thing, but the next row. So skip one, two in the next. So we're doing a little, this is a very graceful stitch pattern. It will be dense like single crochet, but it will be have a lot more drape. Since the stitches are not directly over each other like a grid, it will have better drape than just a solid single crochet. It's more fun than a <laughs> solid single crochet. I admit that I kind of get bored sometimes with the solid single crochet, but that's okay because that's why there are so many alternatives. So we're still placing two single crochets in each um, of the stitches that we use and then skip a stitch and then two single crochets in the next and then skip one and then two in the last, and then we will chain two and turn, and we will repeat this row over and over again. So I just chained one, I needed to chain two, so chain two and turn, skip the first one, and in the second one, place two single crochets. So we're doing this little um, alternate stitch and it's gonna it's gonna be cute. I think you'd really, I mean, even a baby sweater would look terrific with this. 
It's so, so easy because it is single crochet, but just the tiny variation of skipping one stitch and placing two in the next stitch makes the stitch look somehow elevated. <laughs> makes it more graceful because it's not so rigid, like one on top of each other. Um, this would look fantastic in a multicolored yarn. It would look great in a solid yarn, but multicolored yarn soft, often crochet looks kind of muddy in a multicolored yarn, but if you make the stitch pattern plain enough, then the yarn can do its work and really shine. So this would look great in a sock yarn or a multicolored yarn. So chain one, two, and turn. Skip the first one, two single crochets in the next. So do you have any guesses? Would you like to place any guesses in the um, comments below about what Ellen's big game might be that will have at least six um, weeks until the uh, unveiling. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because when we get to 9,000, when I get to 9,000 subscribers um, and we're a community of 9,000, then we will do another giveaway. So the giveaway will be a prize pack of all of my books signed, one of each of the six of them. And then don't forget, you know, encourage your friends and send a friend um, one of my videos or encourage them to watch and subscribe because when we hit a community of 10,000 subscribers, I have a $100 prize giveaway of um, a shopping spree to a U.S. yarn distributor. I already have that person, that group, that company in mind. They've already said yes, but you know, I'm just waiting to hit the 10,000 before I reveal it because, you know, I hope it doesn't take too, too long, but you never know what can happen between now and then. So I was hoping to hit it by the end of the year, but um, I don't know. We're kind of limping along in the middle 8,000s of followers right now. So um, right now, every single one of you is so valuable. I'm so grateful each for each and every one of you subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you and um, encourage others to become subscribers so that we, when we become a community of 9,000 subscribers strong, we can have the next giveaway. And then that gets us closer to the 10,000 giveaway. So here's the fabric so far. I like it better than plain single crochet. It's still a dense fabric, so it would still be great for a sweater or a blanket or a baby sweater or something but it's um, a, little a little more flexible and a little less rigid than just plain grid of single crochet on top of single crochet. So I'm continuing with the same pattern of skipping one stitch and placing two single crochets in the next stitch. So skip one and then two single crochet. So I'm just gonna crochet along a little bit more here. I hope you stick around to the end of the video, but um, really we're at a good spot here where we can just chat for a few minutes and let you see how this fabric unfolds. I'd like to continue the full swatch before we end our time together for today. Also, don't forget that we're working on the greenery blanket crochet along. And when you comment on those um, videos, when I get 25 comments, then I know it's time to do Another one in the series where currently as I'm filming this on round, uh, I think 11 of the greenery blanket. So keep those votes coming. You get to vote on what color comes next. So that's a lot of fun to see what you all think and to try to implement your votes so that you can be part of this. I hope you're playing along at home with your own stash. Go grab a yarn from your stash right now. This is a worsted weight yarn and I have an eye size hook as usual, but you can use the ones that are your favorites and single crochet, or I'm sorry, chain a multiple of six plus one or an even number plus one and do this same pattern. So we're skipping the first one, we're single crocheting two in the next stitch, skipping one stitch and then two in the next stitch. So it would read, if you're reading along, star, skip one, two single crochets, and the next repeat from star across. And then the last thing that we did is the last thing that we would end on. So if we did star, skip one stitch, single crochet, two single crochets in the next stitch, repeat all the way across, 
then we should end with two single crochets in the final stitch, which we do right there. Chain two and turn. Woohoo! What do you think? This is a great mindless little pattern once you get in the rhythm of it. If you're not in the rhythm of it, of it I can see if you let your mind wander that you would like forget what you're doing and revert back to plain old single crochet. But once you get in the habit of a row or two, hopefully you can turn your mind off and allow this to be a meditative um, exercise where you can just let your hands go and you can watch a show or listen to a book or watch nature go by as you are happily stitching two single crochets in one stitch and skipping one and two single crochets in the next. So much fun. And then we're not uh, single crocheting in the turning chains. Those just hang out there on the edge. So in that last stitch, we're not single crocheting in the chain two there. Okay, we're just leaving them. And we'll have this tiny little scallopy edge and that's just fine. So if you wanna hang around and see what Ellen, it's Ellen's Big Game is all about, hit the like, hit the subscribe bell, turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any videos. And I will see you on the next video. We'll have one on Wednesday, and that might not be the second part of Ellen's Big Game, but Ellen's Big Game videos will be coming out, and I hope you join along. Put your guesses in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Go see the Greenery Blanket, and go see maybe one of my favorite playlists. So see ya. Bye.